Greetings, everyone. Father Jimmy, hope you're doing well on this Wednesday, and it is the 16th day of October. Let's see what we're celebrating today. Actually, we got two optional memorials today to choose from. We have St. Hedwig, who lived from 1174 to 1243. St. Hedwig was the aunt of St. Elizabeth of Hungary. She was married at an early age to Henry, Duke of Silesia, and after their six children had been born, they both strove to advance in sanctity and enrich Silesian Poland with monasteries, hospitals, and leper asylums. When Henry died in 1238, Hedwig took the habit of the Cistercian nuns at Trebnitz, where one of her daughters was the abbess, but retained the administration of her property so that she could give personal relief to the suffering. And then we have St. Margaret Mary Alacoque. Born in 1647, she died in 1690. After a girlhood marked by painful illness and even more painful family discord, Margaret Mary entered the visitation convent of Pere le Maniel in France at the age of 22. She was ignorant, sickly, and clumsy, but she had great charity and humility. Our Lord chose her to spread devotion to his sacred heart at a time when rebellion without Protestantism and heresy within Jansenism were doing their best to separate Catholics from their faith and from their God. Well, today I think I'm going to read from both of our readings from our liturgy. Our first reading comes from Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 5, beginning with verse 18. Paul writes, Brothers and sisters, if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are obvious, immorality, impurity, licentiousness, idolatry, sorcery, hatreds, rivalry, jealousy, outbursts of fury, acts of selfishness, dissensions, factions, occasions of envy, drinking bouts, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. In contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Now those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also follow the Spirit. In our Gospel today is from Luke chapter 11, beginning with verse 42. And the Lord said, Woe to you Pharisees, you pay tithes of mint and of true and of every garden herb, but you pay no attention to judgment and to love for God. These you should have without overlooking the others. Woe to you, Pharisees. You love the seat of honor in synagogues and greetings in marketplaces. Woe to you. You are like unseen graves over which people unknowingly walk. And one of the scholars of the law said to him in reply, Teacher, by saying this, you are insulting us too. And he said, Woe also to you, scholars of the law. You impose on people burdens hard to carry, but you yourselves do not lift one finger to touch them. A pure heart wants what God wants. And what God wants is for us to be clean on the inside and on the outside, as we heard in yesterday's reading. He wants our insides to match our outsides. So in today's first reading from Galatians, we read about the fruits of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such, there is no law. As St. Paul says earlier on, if you're guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. If we have crucified the flesh along with his passions and desires, then we belong to Christ Jesus and no other. So if we're guided by the Spirit, we are no longer driven by immorality impurity, acts of selfishness, hatred, jealousy, and so many other things that defile a human. As followers of Jesus, we also know that it is not enough to appear pure and without blemish on the outside. Throughout Scripture, the Pharisees paid more attention to the outer appearance of holiness than the inner. They followed the letter of the law. They paid their tithes, but they paid no attention to God's law. The Pharisees did not humble themselves before God and under God. Instead, they themselves wanted to be worshipped. They love seats of honor in public places, but God is never fooled by outer appearances. God sees our insides 
So today we need to pray to have our hearts ruled and cleansed by Christ Jesus as we pray to have the fruits of that Holy Spirit also to grow richly within us. Well, let's pray today. and We'll pray the prayer for the optional memorial of St. Margaret Mary. Pour out on us, we pray, O oh Lord, the spirit with which you so remarkably endowed St. Margaret Mary, so that we may come to know that love of Christ which surpasses all understanding and be utterly filled with your fullness. We ask all this through Jesus Christ, our loving Lord and Savior. Amen. I hope your day is going well as we continue to move through this week. Let's keep praying for one another. Take care and God bless you.